السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو انڈسٹریل کیمسٹ گائیڈنس یوٹیوب چینل آج کی اس ویڈیو میں ہم بات کریں گے دا بیسک کوشچنس ریگارڈنگ اسپیکٹرو فوٹو میٹر سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ دا ویڈیو دا فرسٹ کوشچن از واٹ از اسپیکٹرو اسکوپی اینڈ دا آنسر از اٹ از دا برانچ آف سائنس دیٹ ڈیلس ود دی اسٹڈی آف انٹریکشن آف الیکٹرو میگنیٹک ریڈیشن ود میٹر The next question is what is the principle of UV visible spectrophotometer the answer is when a beam of monochromatic light passes through a homogeneous absorbing medium the rate of decrease in intensity of light is directly proportional to the concentration and path length of the cell the next question is what is bayes law and the answer is absorption is directly proportional to the concentration of medium it means that more the concentration more will be the absorption the next question is what is lambert law and the answer is absorption is directly proportional to the path length of the cell it means that more the path length size more will be the absorption the next question is what is the uv and visible scanning range the answer is for uv scanning range its limit is 200 to 400 nanometer while in visible scanning range its limit is 400 to 800 nanometer the next question is how many types of qubits use in uv visible spectrophotometer the answer is generally two types of qubit are used in spectrophotometer the first one is glass qubit used in visible scanning range and the second one quartz qubit used in uv scanning range the next question is why quartz qubit is used in uv scanning range the answer is because quartz qubit will not absorb light in this region The next question is what is measuring unit of UV visible spectrophotometer and the answer is absorbance. The next question is what is the light source of UV region and the answer is deuterium lamp is used as a light source in UV region. The next question is what is the light source for visible region and the answer is halogen lamp is used as a light source in visible region. The next question is what is USB general chapter for UV spectrophotometer the answer is USB general chapter number 857 the next question is how many components in UV visible spectrophotometer and the answer is there are five main components of UV spectrophotometer the first one is light source and the second one monochromator and the third one sample holder and the fourth one detector and the last one recorder the next question is what is chromophore the answer is a group of item in a compound responsible for the electromagnetic radiation the next question is what instrument is used for the measuring of absorption in the visible region the answer is chlorimeter The next question is what we are using for visible spectrophotometer and the answer is potassium dichromate is used in UV visible spectrophotometer calibration as because due to its stability and available in high purity in dilute perchloric acid solution it has a linear response with good temperature stability that's why we are using potassium chromate for the calibration of uv spectrophotometer the next question is what are the calibration parameters of uv visible spectrophotometer there are four parameters the first one is control of wavelength the second one control of absorbance and the third one limit of stray light and the last one resolution power مزید انفارمیٹیو ویڈیوز دیکھنے کے لیے چینل کو سبسکرائب کریں اور ویڈیو کو لائک کریں اللہ حافظ